Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S.com. Um, so I kind of got an interesting um, uh, topic I kind of want to talk to, and this is more for a call for help in, in this certain situation. Um, when it comes to dieting and what's the right diet. Okay, so I've been researching a lot about different diets and I've been wanting to do a certain different a certain diets and one of the diets I wanted to pick up was vegan, you know, being a vegan. And you know, it was you know, it's an interesting thing. I picked it up for a couple of weeks. I picked up being a vegan for a couple of weeks and then, you know, I start realizing, you know, hey, you know, at this point this is not the right thing for me. At one point I might want to be this, but it's not right for me. Then, you know, um, I tried, you know, vegetarian and it was okay. I don't really like vegetarian too much. I like vegan. I don't know why I like vegan a little bit more than vegetarian, uh, the idea. Um, you know, then, you know, I've been encouraged to try out paleo. But here's the thing. My whole th goal is to live longer. My, that's my goal. I want to live 100 years on, on earth. That should be everybody's goal, at least 100. But it's kind of interesting because I'm looking at certain situations. For instance, I've seen this lady. She's a vegan. She's 75 years old, and she looks 45 years old. And her husband is around the same age, but he looks terrible. But she's 75, and she's living long. Now, she's 75 years old. You know, you also have, you have a lot of people that's vegan, but then now I'm hearing that veganism is... Uh, uh, you, you, you're getting malnutrition in certain areas. You're not getting the right uh, fat and protein sources. So I'm listening to this. I'm like, wait a minute. Well, well, now, is veganism good or is it bad? Well, or vegetarianism good or bad? Well, you're missing out on some nutrients. And I heard the same thing. I heard that uh, um, that uh, when you eat too much, then we hear when you eat too much meat, when you eat too much meat, uh, um, it's caused colon cancer, that, uh, um, what is it, prostate cancer. You, you're getting all these different cancers from stuff. And, and then you find out that we need, but we need this animal source, this animal fat. We need all of this, these nutrients. Now, my goal here is to be healthy and to live to 100, okay? That's my biggest goal is to be healthy and live to 100. But I'm getting all this information that veganism isn't good and I hear it's great. And then at the same time with people who are saying, oh, you're a vegan vegetarian, they try to influence you with the fact of if you eat meat, you're a terrible person. And you're not really a terrible person. But at the same time, a lot of vegan people are dying off fast. Um, uh, uh, the guy on Green Mile, he died and he changed his whole diet. He he died from, I think, uh, uh, um, a heart attack. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, didn't he change his diet? So, you know, and that was a big dude. So, it was, you know, it's interesting. So, you know, you got people who are vegetarians and vegans. And then, then a couple of months ago, I remember seeing a story of a guy who's about 115 years old. He's 115 years old. And they asked him, how do you feel that you stay alive? And his answer was, well, he takes... He smokes six cigars a day, eats a strip of bacon, and a shot of vodka every morning. Correction, whiskey every morning. And I'm like, wait a minute, you eating bacon, whiskey, and seven cigars a day. That throws me off. You know what I'm saying? But he's 115. So what I'm looking at is the fact of... I, um, from what my personal beliefs are about the situation, and if anybody can correct me if I'm wrong, is it's all a mental thing. It has to do about your mind, whatever you feel. It's just like that, how you feel about the lucky sock, okay? When you have a lucky sock, you're, oh, yeah, I, I get so much power from this. It's just, you know, some people say lucky sock. Some people go to, you know, God for this. Some people go to their own mind, try to find role models and influences, for certain situations. So that's what I think. I think it's almost just a mental thing. Because if he's drinking whiskey and seven cigars a day, most somebody else would say, man, you ain't going to live, uh, you, you shouldn't live past 60 doing that every day. But he's been doing it his whole entire life. And he was, um, uh, I think he was ex, he's an ex-military. Uh, no, he, I think he was in the army. So it was, you know, it's, inter it's, it's an interesting concept. But what I do believe is the main two factors in any diet at all at all is you need to exercise you need to rest and you shouldn't eat
processed food. You shouldn't. That's that's the main two things. And uh, the situation with some of the animals, they're saying it's, it it doesn't come from the actual animal. It comes from the uh, uh, um, what the animal goes through because, as you can tell, animals still have energy. So when you're eating food that's been slaughtered and murdered, and it's seen, you know, it's watching this stuff all go down. It's building stress and frustration, and they're breaking their legs and they treat them wrong. Factory animal, factory animals. Uh, we all agree, most of us should agree that animals uh, in a factory setting uh, is wrong. You know, they treat them terribly. They stump on them. They rip out their testicles. They do the wrong things to them. They have them just sitting in just, just the most disgusting situations. And for me, watching that is just, it's it's a terrible situation. But at the same time, you got to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I try to find other other sources, other uh, like free range um sources and situations like that but then you know they got their you know beliefs about that so it's a lot of it's a lot of miscrewed information but i'm pretty sure the main factors is as long as you find a form of exercise um a form of exercise maybe walking in the morning you know putting down the processed food uh you know eating just eating the most just terrible things you know what i'm saying i changed my life with just Drinking water, I start, you know, start, and another thing is start slow when you're doing this too. You know, slower, you pick up one thing, you build that, then you build something else on top of that. Once you get a hang of one thing, you know, I love to drink water now. Water is my thing and I, I enjoy it. Of course, you know, every once in a while you have maybe a soda, just depending on the situation. But for the most part, even when I'm going, you know, trying to go out and get something, I just really just want water. And, you know, obviously that's a great thing for you. Uh, your body is built up of either 85% water. So when you got water going going through you, it's great to just have water and not so much soda because that stuff kills you. So all that processed stuff, I understand, throw that stuff out the window because that stuff's not going to help you. But, you know, finding, I guess it's really finding the right type of mental methods for you when it comes to your diet. You know, find the right mental methods because from how it sounds you got different people with different opinions and different ideas of how they're going to live to make it to these certain ages because you got people who for what they say about vegan are get, not getting enough nutrition but yet they're living longer and they look healthier but they're not getting all the nutrition and they are losing a lot of weight they lose, they lose a lot of weight so I think as you go for me as what I'm looking at is I believe that as you get older, you should start switching your diet. If you have a full meat diet, you need to start switching it over and have a less meat meat intake and more vegetable intake. But you shouldn't lose the protein that you get it from meat sources. So that's how I feel about that situation. And that's what I'm probably most likely going to do with all this information. But if anybody has a perfect diet plan, let me know so I can grab onto it and try it out uh, hopefully i'm gonna go into this paleo diet and see what's going on with it but um that's all i want to say hey follow me on openthoughts.com that's open t-h-o-t-s dot com follow me on facebook and twitter um you know google google as google plus so you know um so all i gotta say so thank you somebody answered that question for me and y'all have a good one